welcome to another edition of Beyond the Court. I'm not Sudzy Monchik, I'm Shane DeWitt, but I am joined by the one, the only, Sudzy Monchik. Hi, buddy. Good to see you, bud. You too. Um, I like sitting in this chair, by well, the way. I, I, yeah, no, you look good in that chair. You look in that chair. Uh, but anyway, Sudzy, I want to talk to you about something today uh, that is beyond the court, so to speak, uh, beyond racquetball. Uh, about physical fitness and so maybe one of the things that a, a lot of folks don't know out there is that you also do a lot of life coaching and a lot of uh, just just health and wellness mm -hmm. with with people that you coach uh, um, and and that all came about um, there was a time in your life I think and, and we discussed it before and I've seen some of the pictures and actually I'm, I'm gonna show that picture right can't, now can't wait. It's, it's on screen look at that so guy. Look, at, look at that guy right Looks like two of me but you know the thing is is there was something going on in your life and then and then you decided to kind of change it up I want you to tell me a little bit about that and 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 then we're gonna talk about you know one of your favorite catchphrases and how that came about so um, what, what what happened I, I we're looking at the picture right now but and, and it's not a bad thing. It, it happens sure. to us all. But sure. kind of, kind of explain to us what, what was happening. Yeah, I just I got a little content, a little bit too lazy, as you can see. I wasn't moving much. I was really focusing in on uh, coaching and helping my son and get him through his early sports career in baseball and stuff. So I was just making a lot of bad decisions. Uh, I wasn't super active. I wasn't as involved in racquetball or really at all. You know. Uh, I've been in racquetball my entire life, and there was a decade or so that I, I didn't really even play racquetball, and I just kind of let everything get away, including my, my own self-health and, and wellness. And, uh, you know, I just woke up one day, literally, and, and it was this easy. I said, I just don't like the way my clothes fit. Right, and, right. You know, I, I felt good. I didn't feel there was no, thank God, there was no huge health problems other than obviously the way I was looking. I was way overweight. but. For me, it was a simple decision. I just, my clothes were just a little bit tight, Shane, and I was a little uncomfortable. And I said, yeah, I don't like this anymore. So I'm gonna make some changes. And that's where it began. And, and was it, you said you just woke up one morning, was it, what, was it you just woke up and says, it's just a decision, I have to make that decision. Tell me about how you came up with that, because I think that is, you know, I, I see a lot of your posts, oh, we all do, and, and uh, you know, I think that is one of the, just the, I, that, that's like Nike just do it. I just think it's just a great, it's just a decision. You know, I think about that myself, even whenever I'm, you know, I'm, I'm right now I put on a few pounds and I'm thinking, you know, I could have a second scoop of ice cream, but do I really need a second scoop of ice cream? No, I don't. I'm content. But um, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I could eat a pint, right? So, you know, that was back <laughs> I think in the we day, all could. I'd eat a couple pints. Um, it, it really, it wasn't meant to be cliche or anything. I think I was talking to a client or somebody I was working with. And they, they, everybody sets these big goals, right? Like, I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 30 pounds. I want to be the best player in the world. I want. No, 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 no. Just start making better decisions daily. And, and to elaborate on that, they were like, well, what do you mean? I said, well, do you like ice cream, Shane? He said, yeah. I'd say, okay. How many scoops do you eat in a sitting? Uh, four or five. I'd say, great, have three. Well, okay. I said, no, it's just a decision. You can. It's up yeah. to you. You know, you decide that. I'm not going to hold your hand through it. I'm not going to sell you some fake diet pills or tell you to only eat salads and torture you because that's when you set yourself up for failure. So I decided that every day, everything I do in life, I was just going to make little better decisions that were going to add up to big, massive ones. And then I wouldn't be that massive guy we just saw in that picture. And, and that's really how it started. And then I just got hooked and I, and I wanted to be even healthier and feel better. And now that I do coach uh, physically and some mental strength and conditioning, I knew that I couldn't, you know, to be the part, I had to look the part. And yeah, I just feel a lot better. And I like to, to help people maximize themselves as well. It's about setting, uh, uh, I guess what you're saying, if I hear you right, it's about setting maybe smaller, um, more attainable goals sure. instead of trying to, whether it's losing weight or I want to be better at a sport or I want to, you know, I want to, you know, be, have more muscle tone or whatever. Instead of saying, oh, I got to do like this, maybe we only do this and get to this goal first and take baby steps. Um, it, you know, I remember teach, when teaching racquetball, uh, a game of racquetball is to 15. Mm -hmm. But what is it that you teach? Yeah, I, I say just like that, what you just said. Don't tell me you want to lose 20 or 30 pounds. Don't tell me you need to get to 15 points or you need to get an A plus on, on a production video, so to speak. <laughs> uh, just do it. You know, start with it. Start with doing the best you can, okay? Mm -hmm. 
commit to that, understand that the number one rule that I set for goals is number one, they have to be realistic, okay? So can you reach that goal? And you can, you can do it, so go do it. But make sure you're doing everything in your power to give yourself the best chance to do that. So if you tell me you want to lose 20 pounds, but then you want to go have a couple of old fashions, a half a pint of ice cream, are you really doing what you need to do? If you right. want to be the best player in the world, but you keep getting the same results, but you keep training and you're, well, what are you doing different? What did you do? What decision did you make? So the, it's just the decision really just came about in this while I'm trying to motivate and inspire people. And, right. and I see that, you know, there's a lot of question or, or hesitance and I'm like, Hey, it's just a decision. Yeah. It's up to you. I'm not going to hold your hand and I can't, you right. decide. And then when you make those small changes, they turn into really big ones and then it's addicting. Then you want yeah. more, then you want to feel better. You look better, you feel better. And for me, it's, it's now giving that back to everyone. Awesome. Awesome. Well, some great advice, Sudzi. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Always a pleasure to be on the court with you. Why don't we go hit some balls? Let's do it. All right, Thanks. man. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. We'll see you next time on Beyond the Court. I'm Shane DeWitt, Sudzi Monchik. Have a good one.